Uh, good morning, I'm Dr. Neil Stone. I'm a Bono Professor of Medicine at Northwestern uh, University School of Medicine and have a lifetime interest in preventive cardiology. Uh, today I was privileged to hear uh, the results of one of the two uh, studies that looked at PCSK9 uh, monoclonal antibodies uh, designed to reduce LDL, low density lipoprotein, uh, cholesterol levels in a variety of patients uh, and also to take an early glimpse at what they might do to uh, the coronary uh, event profile, that is, heart, uh, heart attacks. Uh, these studies were important because they followed the observation almost nine years ago that uh, those people born with a genetic mutation in the PCSK9, a uh, uh, molecule that more or less chaperones the, uh, the LDL receptor and uh, might prevent it from being uh, degraded, it, it allows doctors now to focus therapies on reducing LDL cholesterol uh, to a greater degree than had previously been uh, uh, possible. Uh, today we uh, heard from the Osler uh, studies. It was remarkable because it included a, a number of people with familial hypercholesterolemia. It included those who uh, had a variety of other issues, 50% uh, were, were women, and this is unlike some of the early statin trials that didn't uh, seem to be underrepresented in this category. And uh, they were able to show that LDL cholesterols were lowered uh, over all these groups by about 60% on average. In addition, uh, and this was remarkable, they did show a significant decrease in the event rates uh, for uh, uh, cardiovascular disease by almost 50 percent. Now the numbers were small. It was a uh, short duration uh, study. Uh, I would characterize this as encouraging but preliminary results. Uh, the other piece of the puzzle though with a randomized trial is always how do you balance benefit with safety? And uh, safety uh, issues uh, per se uh, should uh, uh, go on a little bit longer than just 12 months, uh, so we really understand the whole spectrum. And uh, but it did appear safe based on uh, all the all the data. Uh, the authors did indicate that they were going to look further into neurocognitive effects, an area of great interest since the uh, uh, LDL levels were small. But they did notice that in their study, when LDL was dropped below 40 or even below uh, 25, they didn't see a a bump in the, uh, in the safety profile. So that's encouraging. So in summary, we have an encouraging randomized trial that looks at a powerful new drug that has to be injected every two or four weeks and that can result in LDL levels far below that we used to see uh, and in addition to a statin as well and that the promising point that we hope is maintained is the twofold promise of fewer uh, coronary events and uh, safety over the long term. And, and further data will help us uh, be sure that this is reached. Thank you.